If you go to folder 3, basic effects, what we're going to do is take a look at EK125301. These are our shape effects. Now, when we open the PSD, you'll see that there are a variety of layer effects that we support. So we support drop shadow, inner shadow, stroke, color fill, gradient fill, outer glow, inner glow, and multiple effects. This is basically nesting of various effects, and we can take a look on the actual layer. So we'll see that we have stroke, inner shadow, and gradient overlay applied to this individual shape object. Now, if we're to export this, uh, most browsers have support for CSS effects, so this will render correctly. So let's take a look. Once the export's complete, what we can do is actually go to our FTML folder and we can take a look at each individual uh, browser to see how they support the various effects. So you can see Explorer. Explorer actually supports each effect and it does it quite well, also including uh, nested effects. So let's go ahead, let's take a look at Firefox. And you can see Firefox also supports this quite well. Now, you'll note that there are slight differences. For instance, Explorer renders the shadow differently in a drop shadow and also the stroke, basically, of an element. And you'll see this uh, when we compare it to Firefox. So if we tap back over to Firefox, you'll see that the gradient, um, it's a bit more softer. And also the edges of strokes, you'll see that they are basically nested a little bit inward. Um, so if you were to translate this to your Photoshop design, this would also be or not also, this would almost be using it um, as if it's a center stroke, whereas Explorer is using it as if it's an outer stroke. So let's take a look at Google. Now, Google, um, it also renders the shadow almost in between Firefox and Explorer. So we can take a look. This is Explorer. I might even say it's closer to Explorer. And back to Google. And then Firefox. You can see Firefox has the softer edges on that. And if we take a look at Google, you'll see that it's stroke. It's more of an outer stroke. So this is just a basic example of how Export Kit handles each individual browser and layer effects.